I extend my loving greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us turn to Psalm 75 for today's devotion. The topic is the righteous judgment. In verse 1 we read this, Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. The people of God, the Israel, were calling upon God to act against their enemies and God answered their prayers, defeated their enemies and delivered them. And now, in this psalm, we read about their thanksgiving to God for answering their prayers. Verses 7 and 8 speak of God's judgment on the wicked. When God returns. The enemies who rejected the Lord Jesus shall be judged in righteousness to condemnation. But God's people shall be glad. They shall give thanks to God Almighty for his righteous judgment. In Romans chapter 8 verse 1 we read there is no penalty for those who are in Christ Jesus. He took our penalty, our condemnation and he took our eternal judgment of sin upon himself. For believers, no eternal condemnation, no eternal judgment. But we face our judgment now, here on earth, whenever we commit any sin. God takes the disciplinary actions against us for our daily sins unless we repent and turn to him. As a loving father, he disciplines us from time to time. It's only for our good. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17. As believers, our eternal judgment is over. John's gospel chapter 3 verse 18 and chapter 5 verse 24. As we put our faith in Christ Jesus and trust in his finished work on the cross for our sins, we pass from eternal judgment to eternal life. Lord Jesus died for all of our sins, not just for some of the sins. All sins were nailed to the cross. Jesus paid it all in full. We are free of sin's judgment. We are never separated from God. Our salvation and security is forever sealed. God's kingdom shall never be moved. God's people will be safe. But all earthly kingdoms will be destroyed. That is what we read in the psalm. Foaming wine is a picture of God's judgment. Foaming wine. We read about this in verse 8. In the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. It's full of mixture and he poureth out of the same. All the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. God's judgment on the wicked. All the proud, the wicked, self-confident people will be brought to nothing if they don't repent and turn to the living God. They shall face the eternal judgment of God. Lifting up comes from God alone, not by any human wisdom or efforts. God can be known. He is a righteous judge. He is not limited to the words we read in the Bible. He is the word and the word is God. John's Gospel chapter 1 verse 1 we read this. We need to know the heart of God to get answers for things that are not written in the Bible. We should work closer with him, in close relationship with him to know the heart of God. That will clear all our confusions and give us a clear answer for all our questions about judgment for the wicked and eternal peace and life for those who seek God. Abraham was troubled by God's judgment. On Sodom and Gomorrah. In Genesis 18 we read about this incident. In verse 13 
sorry, in verse 23, Abraham asks God, Will thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked? In verse 25, Abraham says to God, Be it far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous along with the wicked. He also brings up God's character here when he says to God, Shall not the judge of all the earth do the right? Abraham was thoroughly convinced of God's character. God shall not judge the righteous along with the wicked. We need to look at the heart of the judge. The more we know him, the more our struggles, doubts and fears fade away. He is the true and just judge. But at the same time, he is very compassionate and long-suffering. He doesn't want anyone to face the eternal judgment and perish. He patiently waits for all to come to repentance. First John chapter 4 verses 16 through 18 we read that God is love and we the children of God saved by the blood of Jesus Christ are safe in his arms. No more condemnation, no more eternal judgment. The righteous who fear and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ shall be exalted. They shall praise the Lord forever declaring his marvelous works. Praise the Lord. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. Amen.